although uh, former President Trump is wrestling with the legal issues, he's also getting a boost. I sort of referenced this in some new polling. Meanwhile, President Joe Biden continuing to show weakness in many areas, including among key supporters that won him the election in 2020. The New York Times Siena College poll shows Trump leading Biden in five of the six key battleground states, Nevada, Georgia, Arizona, Michigan, Pennsylvania, the one there in Biden's column, Wisconsin, within the margin of error at two. In those six key swing states, Donald Trump's support among black voters has jumped to 22 percent. This is as Biden's lead among Hispanic voters is down to single digits. This is a category that Democrats usually win by 30 plus points. Johanna, yeah. the concern for Democrats is, I mean, you can't look at that and say things are things are all gravy. Yeah. You know, I, I mentioned I was with President Obama. We had our 15-year anniversary of our election victory, and we were all talking about everything, right? Like how our politics is going to play out, not just for the next election cycle, but for the next 50 years. Um, President Biden is not concerned about polls. And I've seen after, you know, our gathering now, people are saying that David Axelrod has come out and said, David Axelrod, obviously one of our advisors, said that maybe he should consider not running. And I'll tell you that while there's a loveless marriage and people are kind of like, you know, our heart is not singing for him, he is actually effective at getting some of the Democratic priorities. But that's over a problem, right? It is a problem. It's always a problem. But look, when it comes to the the issues that we care about, including American manufacturing, we just had another union victory in Michigan. Those are the things that he's going to stand up, not today, but in October of 2024. And I think this poll is not going to change the fact that he's running. All right, Chris, let's rip through some numbers here. Uh, the general election poll, who do you basically trust more on? Uh, not moron. Who do you trust more? <laughs> uh, President Biden on abortion, plus 9 percent. On democracy, plus 3. The economy, Donald Trump, plus 22. Immigration, plus 12. Now, if the president, a uh, former president, rather, were convicted and sentenced to prison, but were still the Republican nominee, who would you vote for? 39 percent still say Donald Trump. What I see there, Chris, is a number that is baked in at 39 percent. And then the issue, when you talk about January 6th, who do you trust more on democracy? It's essentially dead even well, between Donald Trump and Joe Biden. Well, I mean, look, uh, all Republicans are going to say they don't trust Joe Biden on democracy because they think he right. stole the election. Um, uh, here's the way to think about this. Well, here's a way to think about this poll, which is Donald Trump is not doing any better in this poll than he did in 2020. But Joe Biden's doing a lot worse. Okay. Um, Donald Trump, we know, has a low floor, as you see here, 39 percent of these voters in prison, no prob, still in, let's go. <laughs> right. uh, but he also has a low ceiling, which is to say that Donald Trump has hard limits on w what percentage of persuadable Americans will come in to vote for him. There's a lot more elasticity in Biden. So Biden is dramatically underperforming here, mm. his numbers from 2020. The problem isn't about Trump. The problem is about Biden. And I will say this, David Axelrod did more than suggest. David Axelrod said it was time for Joe Biden, for the good of the country, to drop out of the race, said it was a mistake for him to run in the first place. Then, while he's doing that, Barack Obama is out talking about the Israeli-Hamas mm. conflict in a way that very much undercuts the message from the White House. This is not a time for Democrats to be divided. They have a weak incumbent. They have serious problems. This is whatever David Axelrod thinks that he's doing. It ain't helping. Well, we have a year until the election, and I would say the refreshing thing is that the Obama people were honest. I mean, we were honest even amongst ourselves and, you know, picking fun at what people have gone out to go work for corporate America and, you know, what what people are actually, like, our teachers and our social workers, and we were holding ourselves accountable. So I actually appreciate that we're being so pretty honest So at least you guys knew here. who was going to buy dinner. It wasn't going to be the teachers. <laughs> That's right. right. So, it was not going to be so the teachers who, or something. How many people <laughs> privately were saying what David Ox Said I mean, there's not a person in the audience that does not recognize that he is 81 years old and we'd like a new generation of leadership. We were the people who brought a new generation of leadership 15 years ago. We're still for that new generation of leadership. But will we show up for Joe Biden when he's on the ticket? We're going to show up because our alternative is Donald Trump right now. Now, if the so Republicans select somebody else, that changes.
Thank you for watching and make sure you go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.